I'd like to call the Tuesday, October 7th, 2014 Papillion City Council meeting to order. Mrs. Butler, would you please take the roll? Florence, Mumgard, Gaines, Here. Glover, Here. Jaworski, Here. Klug, Here. Stubby, Ingberg. Mr. Florence and uh, I mean, yeah, Mr. Florence, and Mr. Mumberg both have uh, work conflicts, so they're excused. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And do we have an affidavit of publication on file? That is correct. And a current copy of the Open's Meeting Act is posted in the back of the council chambers. We've got a couple of folks who got some special awards. Um, I'm going to go up to the podium and then I'll talk about them. We've had uh, three employees who have gotten uh, pretty big awards. Um, the Nebraska Recreation and Park Association had a state conference last week, and we had three city employees that received awards. First one is Tammy Phillips. Tammy received the 2014 New, Pref New Professional Award from the association. Um, she started her career in 2008 as a facility manager for the Ultimate Baseball Academy. And in just the short time she was there, she grew that from just a few hundred players to over a thousand. Uh, players and that was actually in the second year. Then in 2011 she was hired as the program director for youth sports at the YMCA. Did a great job there but then we were blessed and pulled her away in 2013 and she's been the administrative assistant for Lori and uh, she took ownership of the farmers market. If you remember a few years I kind of struggled to figure out what it was and this last year if you've seen the farmers market and what that become it was almost a festival every Wednesday night and that was hers. Um, it grew vendors by 81 percent and increased the net revenue for the market by 60 percent and again if you remember what those Wednesday nights look like this summer it was almost like a small mini festival every every week in Papillion and uh, part of that was a part partnership she developed with the historical downtown Papillion Business Association so they were doing music as well so another great public private partnership that she helped develop and uh, she's also part of the leadership academy you've heard us talk about the leadership academy we do and we're into the second year of that and she is part of that and we're thankful for that and she was also elected she's been a member of the association just since 2013 and was already elected as an at-large board position for 2013-2014 um, so she received the new professional award. Congratulations. <laughs> Mike Cunningham, for the last seven years, he supervised uh, Walnut Creek. Um, it's probably one of the best camping regions in the metro area, if not the region. Um, and he's also been highly involved in a lot of the special events just because they happen to uh, occur out in his space. Um, but if you're not aware of Walnut Creek, it's a 150 acre reservoir and 450 acres of parkland that he's responsible for. Uh, he serves as a camp host, a waterfowl manager, a fisheries, fisheries manager, a groundskeeper, park security, a dog park operator, and equipment maintenance technician in addition to running all the sporting events as well. Uh, he also completed the uh, uh, Leadership Academy that we have. And um, if you talk to people that use the park, the one thing you'll hear about is his customer service uh, skills. I've had people that use that uh, campground search me out just to say thank you. Uh, and Mike serves as a campground host out there as well. And there are people that travel out of state, out from out of state and come here specifically because of that campground and what Mike's doing out there. Um, so it does have a real benefit to Papillion. Um, like Tammy, Mike is also an at-large board member for the state association. So Mike, congratulations. And they are mentored by Lori, who's been in her position, you told me, forever. Forever. Um, Lori joined the association in 1981 as a recreation therapist when you were at Mercy Hospital, right? In Council Bluffs and then took a little bit of a break and then she joined the city in 98 and has been a member of it since. She was the president of the state association in 2004, 2005, served on uh, lots of committees. Every committee? Just about. 
multiple times, and she received their fellow award in 2006. Um, they didn't have an award high enough to give somebody that's been around forever, so they created the President's Award. Are you the first one to ever get it? All, all, all right, so there's a President's Award every year, and that was awarded to Lori. Um, congratulations as well. I'm very proud of these guys. We are blessed to have all kinds of leaders, great young leaders that are working for us. And in addition to Tammy and, and Mike, we've got Tim, who's got, got a number of awards. We've got a lot of young people with a lot of great vision, a lot of good energy coming up in the ranks, and, and, and they're really exciting to work with. So good job, you guys. If we have two board members and three awards, did we sweep that? State level association. Thank you again. Mr. Hoynes, administrator's report, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of the council. It wasn't in my prepared text, but I can't resist commenting on the uh, REC awards. And when Lori got it and I was reading the information, I pointed out to her that I was graduated from high school the year she joined the, uh, the award. So she has been there, there a while. And then... You say things and you wonder what make things tick in, in the city. And Lori talked about kind of the youth. And you hear, hear Mayor Black talk often about su succession planning and, and, you know, preparing for the next generation. These people don't stop. You know, Tammy sent an email just probably about three or four weeks ago on this new event f for the city th this coming summer. And sometimes it makes me tired. But they come in with all these great ideas. And I think you're going to see a new event proposed to you here very soon that literally is going to bring thousands of people into downtown papillion and that is because in next summer and because the young people like tammy sit there and uh, actually just pursue those and make old people like Lori and i work real hard to, to get it done so uh yeah 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 we need to get some do a little bit more work before we sign off on it and get it to you but it, it looks really exciting and promising so uh so on my specific report uh, mr mayor um and, and council members Couple, I want to call your attention to a couple of consent agenda items um, in case they don't get pulled. Item C7, approval to uh, go out to bid for a splash pad. We've had a lot of conversation over uh, you know, the past couple of years on that. Um, you may recall that that was approved and, and the Eagle Ridge site was approved a couple of years ago, was funded. We've been working on an interlocal lease with that particular uh, SID board and then uh, quite frankly, with not much luck. Well, in September, uh, they had their SID board elections, and they have actually five new members, a whole new board, out at the Eagle Ridge SID, and they're open to considering that location. And so this this doesn't do anything for us other than because they still have to consider it, but they've indicated there's a willingness to at least consider the interlocal and to approve it at that site. Uh, we meet with them next week, and I think they're meeting as an official board, but in order to get it done for next year, we need to go out to bid, but it will come back to you once we get the bids, and then we should have interlocal agreements and uh, um, lease agreement with that SID, and it, it looks real positive that actually we may get that thing done. I know that many of you are tired of hearing that, but I wanted to let you know that it is moving that way at now at Eagle Ridge. The second one is item C8, the salary ranges. Just wanted to point out to you that uh, those are for only for the management exempt folks. And the resolution before you uh, by city policy moves the ranges 2.3%. That's based off of three separate uh, employment databases. That doesn't mean everybody's getting a 2.3% raise. As you're well aware, we have a pay for performance with our, our management team. Uh, some may get zero, some may get more than 2.3, depending on how their evaluation score comes out and how their range happens. Over the next 30 to 45 days, all of those 30-plus managers will be receiving their evaluation for the last year, getting a score, and then getting a salary placement by their direct supervisor within the proposed range that you, you uh, approve. And at the end of that, I do provide the council a, a copy of those proposed placements and, and where they actually been placed at. So just kind of wanted to set that, that that's not an across the board raise, just as, as a reminder. Um, third thing, a veterans park contractor is going to be mobilizing to relocate that water line here in the next uh, few days? Today. Okay, dead. 
So that's really the baseline. Uh, you approved that a, a meeting or two ago to relocate that line. Uh, what I asked the staff to do today is we really, you know, we have a concept, but we're going to put a plan together to phase that and fine tune the estimates so that there's there's a lot of interest, quite frankly, out in the community in helping uh, uh, promote that project and get it going. When we get those phases done uh, here in the next few weeks, I'll give the council and, and um, uh, mayor all a copy of the proposed next phases and what we think those cost estimates may be. Uh, two real important events coming up. Uh, Thursday night, uh, uh, Sarpy County Chamber Banquet. We still have room at the uh, table, the city table, if any of you are interested. I think there's three, maybe four slots left on that. And then this Sunday uh, coming up is the um, uh, Fire Department Open House down here at, uh, still call it Fire Station 1 for us, but I think it's got a different number. The Papillion Headquarters Fire Station. So then conclude my report, Mr. Mayor. I usually don't call people's birthdays to attention, but Jeff Thompson has a big birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, he's, he's hitting the big 4-0, and Joe, Jeff, I just wanted to publicly tell you you don't look a day over 60. So, <laughs> happy birthday, friend. Bye. <laughs> yeah, he's hidden behind the beard. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? Motion by Councilman Jaworski, second by Councilwoman Klug. Do we have any proponents? Do we have any opponents? Any council discussion? Please vote. Six yeas, zero nays. Motion passes. Next is item F1, resolution R140158, a resolution to approve the declaration of use for the Walnut Creek Connector Trail Project. Is there a motion to approve resolution R140158? Motion by Councilman Ingberg. Second. Second by Councilman Gaines. Do we have any proponents? Any opponents? Council discussion? Please vote. Six yeas, zero nays. Item passes. F2, Ordinance 1686. An ordinance to approve the change of zone of certain real property within the zoning jurisdiction of the city of Papillion, Sarpy County, Nebraska, legally described as a tract of land located in the northwest quarter of Section 32, Township 14 North, Range 12 East of the 6 p.m., Sarpy County, Nebraska, generally located on the southwest corner of 114th Street and Highway 370, from Agricultural AG to Mixed Use MU, and multiple family residential R4 to amend the official zoning map of the city of Papillion by changing the zoning jurisdiction boundaries of the zoning map in accordance with section 20532 of the Papillion Municipal Code and to provide for an effective date. Is there a motion to approve ordinance 1686? Motion by Councilman Ingberg, second by Councilman Stubbe. Any council discussion? Mr. Jobin is here if you have questions. Please vote. Six yeas, zero nays. Motion passes. Thank you. F3, resolution R140161. A resolution to approve a final plat for the property legally described as a tract of land located in the northwest quarter of Section 32, Township 14 North, Range 12 East of the 6 p.m., Sarpy County, Nebraska. Generally located on the southwest corner of 114th Street and Highway 370, the applicant is Full Circle Ventures, Prairie Hills. Is there a motion to approve resolution R140161? Motion by Councilman Stubbe, second by Councilwoman Klug. Do we have any proponents? Do we have any opponents? Any council discussion? Please vote. Six yeas, zero nays. Motion passes. Uh, item F4, resolution R140162, a resolution to approve a subdivision agreement with SID 302, Prairie Hills. Is there a motion to approve resolution R140162? Motion. Motion by Councilman Jaworski. Second by Councilwoman Klug. Any proponents? Any opponents? Council discussion? Please vote. Six yeas, zero nays. Item F5, resolution R140163, a resolution to approve a water and sewer connection agreement with SID 302 Prairie Hills. Do a motion to approve resolution R140163? Motion by Councilman Gaines. Second by Councilwoman Klug. Proponents? Any opponents? Council discussion? Please vote. Mr. Jorski, thank you. Six yeas, zero nays. Motion passes. Item F6, resolution R140164. 
A resolution to approve a final plat for the property legally described as a replatting of Lot 80 Settlers Creek in the southwest quarter of Section 24, Township 14 North, Range 12 East, generally located at Ridgewood Drive and Crest Ridge Drive. The applicant is Rogers Development, Inc. Is there a motion to approve Resolution R-140164? Motion by Councilman Jaworski. Second. Second by Councilman Klug. Any proponents? Any opponents? Council discussion? Please vote. 68 zero nays. Item F7, resolution R140165, a resolution to approve the second amendment to Settlers Creek Subdivision Agreement. Do a motion to approve resolution R140165. Councilman Ingberg makes motion, second by Councilman Jaworski. Proponents? Any opponents? Council discussion? Please vote. 68 zero nays. That's all the regular agenda items. Do we have any, uh, no committees met. Do we have any comments from the floor? I see we have some students and some scouts. You guys get to come up front and introduce yourselves to us. Just come up to the podium. Come on up. And the scouts. Yeah. Are you with Mr. Keller's class? Yes. yes. Um, Just introduce yourselves to us. I'm Michaela McClellan, and I'm a junior. Okay. I'm Colton Sila, and I'm also a junior. I'm Nick TV Baugh, and I'm also a junior. I'm Cy Stewart, and I am um, a seventh grader. Which troop? What? Which troop are you with? Troop 60. Which is, that's the Legion? Yeah. Thank you. I'm Wes Stewart, 7th grader, Troop 60. Great. Thank you for coming out. Um, if you guys have class assignments where you either need to visit with one of us or have questions on what went on, some of us will hang around for a while, so feel free to visit with us if you need to, whether it's to keep Mr. Keller happy or get a badge uh, requirement. Do we have any co other comments from the floor? Any council comments? Ms. Kluke. Thank you. I just wanted to comment and give a special thank you to the uh, people who dropped off all the cones and brought out golf carts for the marching competition that the Titan Band um, boosters had. We had a wildly successful day. We used Sumter for overflow parking. We had 16 amazing bands plus our own band marching. We had judges from I forget, five or six different states come in and judge. Um, the Monarchs and the Titans were both um, there that day, and amazing spectators came. So we're going to do it again next year. It's going to be September 26th. I encourage people to put it on their calendar. But most importantly, thank you to everybody who had a part in getting things out to the high school to make it successful. We really appreciated the cooperation with the city and the school. First time that event's been held, right? First time it was held, and we are very excited to say that it uh, had zero glitches. It ran absolutely smooth. It was a great volunteer staff. Great. Any other council comments? Had a busy couple of weeks. Um, also been going into the schools. In second grade, they start introducing civics, um, rights, responsibilities, laws, levels of government, that type of thing. So I go talk to the second graders, and it's a lot of fun. Been to Carriage Hill and Hickory Hill the last two weeks. Mr. Hoynes and I met with a couple of the individuals from Pinpoint Communications. That's one of the new headquarters that moved to Papillion. Um, and I think we've got, hopefully, have some good partnerships with them, and I think they're really committed to the community. Uh, Mr. Hoynes, myself, Mr. Mumgard uh, attended the library board meeting, hopefully answered some questions, have some good dialogue going there, I think. Um, also attended the Sarpy County Economic Development Corporation's Board of Directors meeting. And um, along with Chief Bowes, we attended the Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month, Sammy Superheroes. Um, some local families have some uh, kids, that ch children that are dealing with childhood cancer, and it was a fundraiser for that, and they had a, a good attendance. Um, big ribbon cutting, and I think the entire council and staff was there for Sam's Club, um, probably one of the bigger ribbon cuttings I've ever seen. They know how to do it. And then Bear Body Shop in Midlands Place at 84th and 370 had their ribbon cutting as well. 
Um, Councilman Ingberg, Councilman Gaines, and myself attended an event at Veterans Park uh, put on by the American Legion Post 32. Fantastic event. Um, it was to recognize and honor families who have had a fallen soldier. And a uh, long, pretty long event, and each of them received a uh, flag. And they also presented the city with a Gold Star Mother's Bronze Medallion, which we'll make sure is incorporated into Veterans Park. Um, so that was a nice honor to receive. Um, and then the school, Carriage Hill, if you were not aware, um, Carriage Hill Elementary received a national award, the National Blue Ribbon School Award by the Department of Education. I think it's only one of, maybe Mr. Glover knows, four or five schools in the state of Nebraska that have received it, and the first time Papillion La Vista has ever received it, so a pretty big award. Um, also had a meeting with the Historical Society on some ideas they've got on partnerships with the city. Mr. Hoynes and I met with Jeremy McDowell, who's the store manager at Sam's Club. Sam's uh, looks for a lot of community partnerships, and so we're trying to make sure we got a good relationship with them. So when they've got a need, maybe we can steer them to where the biggest need is in the community. And then um, Congressman Lee Terry came out and gave him a tour of Papillion, spent a lot of time going into small businesses, um, a lot of them that have opened up recently. And then the reminders Mr. Hoynes gave, Thursday's the Chamber Awards, um, Thursday night. So if you do want to go to that, there isn't. there are a couple openings. Sunday's the pancake feed between the fire department and PVFD Inc. at the old headquarters, the one in downtown Papillion. And then Thursday the 16th is another ribbon cutting for Wine Cellar 510, which is a business in Shadow Lake. So pretty busy period of time. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion by Councilman Glover. Second by Councilman Gaines. Please vote. 68 zero nays. We are adjourned.